Hey, GoVax here. So, I want to talk about a way to, uh, you know, kind of cheese out some more rookie premieres. EA screwed up, and we're benefiting from it. Basically, the first part about it, you're going to have to do solo battles, right? You're going to want to get 5,000 solo battle score, and you'll qualify for the ultimate reward tier. Um, and, uh, sorry, you'll get fifty top 50 category for your solo battle score. So, people say it's about 400,000, 425,000 coins you can make from this. Um, and that's something that you're going to want to do on your main account for sure. So you can basically get a rookie premiere there and then go to a new account, create a new account or your farm accounts, do that same solo battle score, buy the rookie premiere packs and either sell those things that you get out of the rookie premiere packs, those 92 overalls for what, 35k or so, sell them and then transfer that wealth to the main account or even simpler, just transfer those rookie premieres to the main account and do the rookie premiere sets from there okay easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, so there is uh many ways of of getting this but uh, this this ea air I, I feel like it's weird that ea has to screw up in order to be generous to us players like us hardcore players that are playing the game in july even though the game's coming out in july so really we're, we'll be playing madden in july anyways regardless the old game in july i feel like they should have done this like like on purpose, right? They shouldn't. They shouldn't have put limits on that stuff. They should have gave it, given us a lot of these things. Like, here's some actual fan appreciation. Uh, besides for the packs, some actual like you know easy things for you to do for you to do to kind of enjoy, kind of like blow your back out. Like, look what happened to 2K. They lowered the price of the game to three bucks. Their servers suck because so many people are playing it. It's such a quality game. Like they're just throwing out opals. Like they got just. It's just a good experience. Man, should go free to play. Um, maybe later in the year maybe knock knock our back out but like with, with the lack of content late in the year i hope it's something they fix for 20 because the game at the start the game through the middle it was all fine but then kind of near the end it's like huh i don't know feels like they gave up and i hope we don't have that problem next year so do you get do you understand what i said and how to get um the free rookie premieres off this screw up and farm accounts i hope you did if you didn't rewind it watch it then i'm not going to drag this video out too long um, that's kind of what I want to say. Like, what else does they say about Rookie Premier? It's a good concept. I like it. You know, every team used to have one. Now it's not a 10 because they want to get lazy. Um, and it's, it's so weird, right? And I'm always, people, a lot, of, I've, I've gotten a lot of flack over the last couple of days. Like, oh no, people have told me Rookie Mirror is great. I think people are kind of getting hyped for the new game. They're kind of putting their blinders on to the evil things. Whereas, we're as harsh, we do not sow day one, day 365. We call it like we see it. Good, bad, ugly, however you want to look at it. We are all straight lined. Anyway, so let's not get two rose tinted glasses here. And I'm, I'm, I don't know, even know what I'm ranting about anymore. This video started out uh, with a tip, and now I'm on some like evil EA corporation rant how they're going to take over and rule, rule the future in some cyberpunk landscape. That's it. That's all I want to do. Make packs viable with coins unlimited amount of sets unlimited give it to us especially late in the game where the the economy doesn't matter all right but that's it for the video grind it out get your rookie premieres you get yours because nobody else is going to get it for you all right we're out